What's going on guys, Ryan with Jedi Patrol, back with another video. Today we're going to be unboxing another Batman figure. Guys, Batman Beyond from Hot Toys Collectibles. Let's get started. That's right guys, we're back with another video today. A, a DC figure, another one in the collection. So I recently unboxed the Justice League Batman, the Nightmare Batman, and the, oh, this other guy, this other guy, hold on, I, this guy right here, which I've actually had at my work office since I got it, because I really didn't have anywhere to put it in the studio. Uh, but since I got this guy, I've enjoyed it. A lot of people have uh, really uh, liked to come to my office to check this guy out. And uh, he's, he's a crowd pleaser. So I'm pretty excited to have this one to see how these two pair up. Obviously, we've got the Arkham Knight in the Red Hood uh, variant uh, armor going on to this guy. Uh, and now we've got Batman Beyond right here from the Arkham Knight uh, video game. So I'm super excited to unbox this thing. I uh, just got this one from Pop Collectibles. Uh, if you are interested in getting day one releases or first or second batch early releases, you can check them out. Link in the description below. We do have a discount code with them. Patrol at checkout. And you can see save some dough on pre-orders and whatnot if you want to get stuff early so i did get this one i believe it shipped out this whatever day it was released uh less than a week ago and uh here it is uh, in the studio on the east coast so let's take a look at the box here we go we've got oh yeah look at that that's a sick looking box art right there i love this little matte finish they got going on textured uh, along where the actual uh the batman is and uh it looks pretty good guys nice little video game uh logo masterpiece series down here in dc on the side you've got batman beyond on the back you've got all the the whodunits for anybody who is interested in checking that out uh, on the top we do have batman arkham knight same thing as on the bottom and it actually opens up with a little magnet sorry for the glare there but uh there's our box art so we've got the batman beyond going on here arkham knight all the little whodunits here obviously our figure is in here and we need to open him up and uh see what he's all about so let's go ahead and cut this tape if you guys are excited about this one let me know in the comment section also by hitting the like button because that's always a good thing to do right all right let's see if i can do this without destroying the box these tabs sometimes are a little difficult um we're gonna be we're gonna be okay this time nope oh, nope i think we got it all right cool all my years of experience of opening uh funko pops uh, is coming into play right now so all right it's a tall and slender box um Pretty much the same as the other Batman. So let's see what we got. We've got a couple trays. We've got one tray down here. Looks like a cape and a stand. And we got another one here. So let's go ahead. This is what's up. This is the unboxing of this thing. See exactly what's going on. We do have a pile of accessories and bat weapons and whatnot. So we'll definitely get into that. Uh, but we're here. We want to get a first look at the actual at the figure. And then I'll you know I'll take the time and get all the plastic bits off of the arms and whatnot. Work with me. There we go. All right. Okay. There we go. Dude, come on. That looks badass. Holy cow. Come on, dude. Come on. That looks fantastic. Like I'm, the Arkham Knight um, um, Red Hood variant. If I put it right here, uh, the Red Hood looks amazing as well. But this guy right here. Oh man, it's gonna be a toss. So we're gonna have a nice little uh, bout in the comment section to see which one you guys prefer, uh, Red Hood or the Batman Beyond. But uh, he's looking pretty freaking good. We got a bunch of hands. We got a mouth plate uh, to cover up. Let's see if we can't get this guy out of the figure. Got a little heft to him. Got a little heft. Oh, we got to be careful uh, of our uh, little gauntlets here. That might take. It. Yeah, see, these are one of. We don't want to be breaking that. But there it is. Let's look at that. <laughs> dude you can focus for me yeah there you go holy cow that's that's crazy good look at that look at the back all right so there's that there's a figure we do have a pile of hands we've got another clamshell here tray let's see what's in here every time i do these unboxings it takes me so long to like put everything back up and pack it up and it's just it's it takes a while uh we've got our little base right here 
Really nothing to write home about there, Batman Beyond. Uh, we've got dynamic flight stand, we need that. We've got a grabber, we've got a something. I imagine maybe that covers up where the cape goes or something. I don't really know. And we have a cape. That is not what I expected at all. That material, this is like a, a like a windbreaker material. This is, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but hear that? it's like a windbreaker material. That's crazy. Super lightweight. I've got some other capes. I've got some custom capes uh, for other Batman figures, but uh, now actually uh, Vader. But um, yeah, that's cool. Definitely like a windbreaker cape. So I guess this has something to do with, with this and they kind of do that and we'll kind of deal with that. All right, but let me go ahead and get all the plastic bits off of this guy and uh, we'll see what he's all about. All right, I've got everything out of the box. I got all this ridiculous amount of accessories. We got all these accessories and I'm actually going to cheat and I'm actually going to use the information page from Sideshow to determine what all the world this stuff is. I, I haven't played the video game, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat, okay? It is what it is. Uh, so this says, we got two batter eggs, which I've got right here. So there's that. One Batman Beyond style batter egg, which I'm assuming is that one because that's the only one. You only get one of those. Uh, one grapnel gun with interchangeable bat claw and interchangeable part to become a remote electrical charge gun. Uh, I'm going to assume it's what I don't freaking know. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. You guys, I haven't played the game. I don't know. He's got a lot of weapons. One explosive gel, which I'm going to assume is, uh, is this guy right here. We'll just assume that one's out. Uh, one uh, pistol, which we clearly have uh, lots of options for that. Uh, I'm not sure which one's his actual pistol. This one looks like something you'd see in a video game that could be a pistol. Um, and uh, one freeze grenade. Oh, maybe that's a freeze grenade. All right, that's a freeze grenade. One explosive gel. I don't flip and know. I don't know. This is the interchangeable thing. Like, this is where... Anyways. One line launcher. All right, we got a bunch of stuff. I don't even know. That's a lot... That's a ridiculous amount of accessories. Holy cow. I'll figure that out later. Otherwise, the video will take forever. Uh, but let's take a close look at... Uh, take, let's just start with the batterings, I guess. Why everybody gets triggered in the comment section while I don't know every Batman uh, accessory from the video game that I've never played. Uh, but the battery is pretty nice. This is definitely plastic. It would have been nice if this was die cast. Is this rotated at all? Uh, I'm not going to try. I, I thought maybe that closed and rotated, but it looks like it might, but probably not. Just saying. Uh, we get two of those. This is the Batman Beyond style battery. I much prefer this one. I think this one's super cool. I love the little red metallic paint they've got going on in the finish. It looks quite fantastic, actually. Kind of dig that. Uh, we do have an interchangeable mouth plate, which we'll put to that side. We'll get there in a second. Uh, we've get this guy. This is a pretty cool freaking weapon. So I, it looks like there's interchangeable parts you can put in here, which I'm assuming is something, something along. I don't really, I don't exactly know, but it looks like something would go in there. Um, got this nice little, little heads up display going on right there. And like the little ammo belt going on. It's it's a nice piece. I don't. Is there any movable parts? No. I don't see any movable parts. So uh, unless that rotates, could that pot? This looks like it might. Is it, am I gonna break my brand new Batman? This looks like it would bend, like in, like that. Looks like it would actually go that way. And uh, it looks like it's built to do that. But question is, will it do that? And I am not 100% certain. It, it certainly has the appearance that it sh should do that, but I it's, it's giving me a little bit more resistance than I'm comfortable with doing right now. And seeing how um, I just got it, I'm going to try not to break it. So there's that. We do have these guys, which I thought were interesting. These are um, like limp, for lack of a better word. Um, yeah, there's little, little spiky hook things. Uh, for his grapple. Uh, it's, it's okay. There's that. Uh, I'm assuming this is his freeze grenade that they were talking about. That's pretty nicely done. You guys that play the game, obviously you're going to know a lot more about this than I will. Uh, I'm in it because it just looks like a cool figure. Uh, and it will look awesome on the shelf. This is a pretty cool little piece. Again, don't know what it is. But there you go. Uh, and then we get this guy. Which... I, I don't want to get hit by any of the stuff that Batman Beyond is throwing at me. Honestly, I, I really don't. This is all cool stuff. Um, the grapnel. Yeah, so this right here is, uh, actually connects those two guys right here. These little guys right here. If I can plug those in. I do know 
this. So you can actually get both of those going in. So that's kind of nice. Got a little, nice little grip right there for his hands. Um, so there's that. I don't know if I'll actually use that. We'll see. Oh, that, wait, hold on. That moves. Ooh, those move. All right. All right. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, and then we get this guy right here, which is the pre-shot, I guess, grapnel. So you can actually put that in there or take that off or whatever. Be careful. I, I feel like somebody's going to lose that. Uh, so there's that. What? Oh, that whole thing comes off. Huh. Cool. All right. Well, uh, there's a lot of parts there. The hands look freaking cool. Look at these guys. Nice little metallic wash going on. Oh, you got nice little red accents going on. The glove section, you see all the stippling and, and uh, texture going on, like these little wraps he's got going around his fist. Like that's uh, that's pretty nice. So we get uh, obviously two fisted hands that are on the figure. Uh, we've got a couple of these. Actually, get a pair of each. Uh, a right and a left. Uh, more of a grasping hand, grasping hand. Uh, more clinching. I guess this is be more for the accessories, more accessories hands. And then we get some uh, pistol firing hands as well so we get these guys so a bunch of hands and then we have the base which we looked at a little bit ago and it does say batman beyond right there that's pretty nice there's nothing to really write home about that normal grabber there and then this uh cape which we're gonna have to actually put on the figure and see what's going on like i said it is like a windbreaker style material it's super lightweight uh there is um a little there's a wire running across lengthways so i feel one wire there one in the middle and third so there's a middle wire and then as it fans out uh there's a three wire so you can see right there one on the right one on the left and one down the middle and they feel fairly poseable fairly sturdy it's not uh, yeah i think it's all right uh super lightweight this bit right here is absolutely plastic this molding piece so there's that uh got a pretty good wingspan as it should you know it's not bad. It's not bad wingspan. These guys right here are back plates uh, that cover up the uh, wings, or you can actually add extra accessories to them, which is going to be pretty neat. I will definitely be doing that. Uh, we'll see how that poses up here in just a second. But I think you guys are all want to do is take a closer look at the actual figure. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I did want to lay them down because of these guys. Usually I have like figure laying here, but I didn't want to do that uh, for this case. But there is our Batman Beyond figure and. Come on now, that looks, that's that's epic. That's a great looking figure. It's got some weight to it. I mean, the other Batman figures I've had experience with definitely have some weight to them as well. Uh, this one's no exception. Definitely got some nice um, sturdy feel to it. That portrait looks fantastic. I think, I, I think I wanna, I'm probably gonna go with this one though. Like the one with no mouth? I don't know, we'll see. I think people are kind of divided on that. The red looks great, the high gloss going on there. And we got almost like this carbon fiber-ish uh, flat black stuff going on there. The armor is great. Check out that belt. There's a lot going on here. This is definitely gonna stand out on the shelf, which is really my main uh, interest in this figure. Look at these things. Those are destined to break if this falls over. Those are huge. Here's our back. I mean, look at this. Got a nice some graphite, some grays, some dark, some black, some reds going on here. This right here feels, oh, what was this doing? This was maneuvering around a little bit on me. Is that Velcro? I can't tell. Yeah, there's, okay, so this is Velcro. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. I want to be careful if I ever need to take that off. That's Velcro. Um, but going on the back, the pants, again, this is this um, windbreaker style material. I think it's definitely different than the material on the Red Hood or the Arkham Knight. Definitely different on that. This is, um, yeah, this is definitely uh, that windbreaker style material. This is going to be super durable. I don't see any issues with that unless you stick it with something like a, you know, a battering or something and you have an issue with that. The thigh armor. I mean, you can see this, it's crazy. The different textures, the different paint apps, gloss versus flat. I mean, it's it's quite, quite stunning in person. It really is. I mean, look at this thing. That is freaking cool. I, I'm pleased, I'm pleased. Um, I mean, obviously I don't know what all the weapons are. You guys can roast me on that, that's fine. But the... Um, the appearance of this thing and the the shelf presence this guy's gonna have 
I mean, it's going to be freaking cool. Uh, if I was to put him, for those who are interested, I'll get into range of motion here in a second. But for those who might be interested, there is uh, there's our guy here. Let's break out him without the base. Size comparison-wise, there you go. I guess I can kind of move those guys back a little bit. Here we go. That a little easier for you. Um, there we go. So he's obviously going to be a little bit taller just due to the... The horns, the cowl. <clears throat> so he's obviously going to be a little bit taller due to the uh, his cowl here. But it, um, other than that, he's actually taller on the top of the head portion. Actually, yeah, he's actually taller up there. He's a bigger figure. He's definitely, uh, it's definitely. He's, he's bigger. He's definitely bigger. No question about it. And, and I don't think it's due to like the. Even if I spread his legs out a little bit further to kind of match this guy. He's still taller, so he's definitely a bigger figure. Uh, Material-wise, I like both. I think this one's probably going to be a little bit more easier to pose around. All right, so range of motion-wise, let's see what we can do with this guy. Uh, don't think. All right, we're going to get a little. We got a little bit of movement there on the neck, looking up, looking down, about that far, and we should get a pretty good range of motion. Yeah, we can go. Oh, that's nice. Didn't even notice that little red touch they got underneath the. Uh, like if you got that hidden. You don't really see it. That's kind of nice. Uh, ball joint there. I don't think we're having issues with that. Turning sideways. Pretty good range of motion. Uh, I don't... I'm not expecting a whole lot out of the abs, so let's just see what we can get. Uh, pretty much, honestly, guys... Uh, yeah, non-existent ab crunch. Non-existent. This is a separate piece. This little plastic armor piece that goes over the, the suit. Uh, so it is split right in here. So you get a little bit... But if you can see, if, it, if I watch this, watch how this splits right here. You get a little bit going on there. So not terrible. I really wasn't expecting a whole lot there uh, to begin with anyways. Arm-wise. Whoa. Whoa. I was not expecting that. I was. It's not ratcheted, but I was not expecting that. That's, that's, that's significant. That's pretty cool. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Uh, they're not ratcheted joints. I don't know why we don't have ratcheted joints uh, on this on this figure. I don't know. It's definitely a double jointed elbow, but as you can see, the material and the uh, armor is kind of getting in the way. It's definitely double jointed, but I think we're, we just have the finagle around some of this uh, gauntlet armor and try to get that where we want it to go. Um, but yeah, that's I was actually kind of shocked by that. That's kind of cool. All right, knees wise, again. I think we're going to get a double jointed knee, but I think we're going to have to get bit. Yeah, we go. Double jointed knee, plenty of articulation there, no issues with that. It is a split boot, so no issues there. We're going to be able to do whatever the heck we want to do with that, with no issues whatsoever. For those who are interested in what's on the bottom of the shoes, uh, not a whole lot. Batman's pretty stealthy. Not a whole lot of action there. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad for him standing on glass cabinets or posing or whatever. Um, but these pieces right here, these gauntlets are definitely a loose piece. I imagine you can just kind of maneuver them out of the way depending on what pose you want to do. Um, but there's really not a whole lot going on there. As far as how high you can get his leg, I mean, that's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's definitely more forward than it is backwards. And then range of motion split-wise, pretty good. I, I really don't think we're going to have any issues with this, um, knowing the limitations of a Batman figure. I mean, it's not Spider-Man, right? So we, we know that. But uh, I'm going to have some fun with this thing. Let's figure out how the, uh, how the cape goes on. Because honestly, I have no idea. So let me figure that out. All right, so that actually took a minute. That was that was not pleasant. That actually took me. That probably took me ten minutes to put this thing together. That was crazy. Um, so these two pieces, these these two wings, uh, peg into this little spot right here. You guys can see that right there. All right, and it's got these two giant pegs and these two smaller pegs, and then you've got to line up this one, and one of these just didn't want to go in all that great. I, I was able to get it, but uh, there it is. But on the back, and there, there's this is no there's no front or back. There's no front or back, so it, just, it doesn't really matter which way you put it on. Um, but uh, on the back here, you actually have a plate, a key, that goes on the back of our Batman figure, and right here, if you pick, pull this little piece right here up, right there, uh, you actually get a spot for the wings. So let's go ahead and see if we can't make this happen. All right. Let's see here. There we go. 
There is our Batman with some wings. That wasn't actually terrible to get it on there. Putting the wings together kind of sucked. I don't think I really want to take those apart uh, anytime soon. But uh, there is our instructions. Um, here is our uh, here's our here's our Batman. Look at this. It, it takes up some shelf space. No no question about it. If you're gonna have the wings out, it's gonna take up some space. Uh, it might be worth it. It might be worth it to take up all that space. I mean, look at here. I'll I'll, uh, I'll get out of the way, but it's um. Look, it's freaking cool, right? So as I knock stuff over, let me let me move him over here and give you guys an idea. I'll, I'll bring out the the red hood again. Um, yeah, it, it's this is going to be a really cool looking uh, set of figures to put together. Uh, I do want to change one thing out, as so you guys can get a look at that. I want to change out this uh, mouth plate because I think I think I like this mouth plate. This one's got like a translucent material. You can kind of see the mouth underneath it. Kind of see that right there. Uh, I think I want to change that out, uh, and uh, I mean, as cool as that one is, and I may just switch it back to that one, I do want to see what it looks like on the actual figure, and it should just be like a Captain America style magnet, yeah, there we go, just the just magnet, and uh, it's actually a pretty good magnet, actually. Mouth plate we were used to seeing time and time again, let's see if we can get it back on there the way it should be, I don't feel like that's seated quite right. Are you going to be... Oh, no. My magnet came off the back. I'm going to have to get some glue. Oh, Hot Toys, you and your freaking glue magnet. Uh, you suck sometimes. All right, so we won't be using that mouth plate for the rest of the video because that's going to have to be glued. So I guess we're going to be using this one. So uh, there you go. I knew it wasn't sitting on quite right because uh, it was... There, there we go. Interesting. I think I might like this one better anyways. Uh, but there you go. What an unfortunate mishap that I'm used to doing. So the question is, I guess a lot of people are going to have is, will it fit in the detolf with the wings open? Uh, I don't see how that is ever going to happen. I, I just don't see it. Unless you've got it at, even at an angle might be kind of weird. So um, I guess the thing we got to do now is pose them up and... Um, have some fun. All right, fun fact. I actually had to replace the glue on the magnets on both of the mouth pieces uh, because they both came unglued and stuck to the actual uh, portrait. So uh, I do have the, uh, the portrait right there with the translucent mouth effect. I kind of dig that one a little more than the other one. The only thing I really was um, thinking about as I was just kind of throwing together this pose which I think looks pretty good, right? Uh, was I would have really liked to have the inside of the cape red like it was in the animated series uh, in the comics. So I would, I think that would really set this thing off a little more. But I understand, you know, they're going with the uh, design from the game. I obviously, I have a, le a lot less armor on it as well. But I think the red, I could totally see somebody out there thinking uh, they're going to do a custom cape with the red instead of the all black. I think that red on the inside would just make this thing just next uh, next level cool. Uh, but you guys can see just up close, this thing is it's pretty cool. I dig it. Got a nice little, you know, coming at me to, to uh, attack kind of deal. And I think it looks pretty good. Not an issue. Uh, the, the flight stand, uh, I actually have the uh, grabber around his leg. It's, his waist is a little too wide for uh for it so the leg is where i placed it and uh there it is i think it looks pretty good now you're gonna need some some definite uh some definite space to uh you know display it if you're gonna have him like this which is not bad but i think we can totally get him in some pretty uh, awesome moves where he's not flying and you don't need all that wing space all right, we've moved over to the Detoff cabin, and I've got Batman Beyond set up looking all kinds of awesome. And uh, stay tuned to Instagram. I will try and throw them on some uh, some flight poses or whatever in the Detoff. I don't think it's going to fit. In fact, I'm almost 100% sure it's not going to fit, but maybe we'll try it out. But we'll do some more poses over on Instagram, so follow me uh, at Jetta Patrol. But I did get the, uh, the mouth plate glued up, uh, secured, no issues there. I really like the red touch there on the neck. I think that's a great design point by them uh, who made the video game. Uh, I do think we should have the red lining on the cape. I know it wasn't like that in the game, but... Honestly, I just think that would be super cool. Uh, so uh, you do get a decent amount of range of motion out of that arm. Double bend there. No issues there. And uh, got pretty good rotation of the torso. 
uh, right there you can see kind of what's going on I don't I'm not really too worried about that I think it's gonna be just fine uh, I do have him uh, in a little battle going on right this second so the question is who is he battling and he is battling Red Hood dude come on look at this all right ready look at this look at that that's freaking cool right there Red Hood uh, versus uh, Batman Beyond looking all kinds of awesome. So, you know, just as a display piece, and I don't know if it'll stay like this in the cabinet, but I'm having some fun with it regardless. If you wanted to display yours like this, you absolutely could. I don't think there would be no issues with that. Uh, you know, just takeaways, other than the mouth plates being unglued, which is kind of annoying. Uh, the gauntlets, just like on the Red Hood, on the Arkham Knight figure, these gauntlets right here, uh, pop off, or, the, or I say they pop, cause the hands to pop off. Uh, so be mindful of that. That's kind of an annoyance. Also, you wouldn't be mindful of the gauntlets uh, with those, uh, you know, pointy ends because you can absolutely break this thing no problem. Uh, but I think that display right there is looking pretty freaking cool. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, spoiler warning. Um, there's a Spidey up there flying around. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I'm pretty stoked with this. So. I was told that this is a super limited run of this figure, uh, and the what I was told was Shore Trooper, like OG Shore Trooper numbers. That's kind of how limited this guy was. The production run is super small. So if you want this figure, I would definitely pick it up. I would definitely uh, you know consider it if you are a Batman collector, or if you just want something badass, because honestly, this is absolutely that. It is freaking cool. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun posing this guy over the next little bit. Uh, but I know you guys were anxious to see this video, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this out for you guys. But uh, Red Hood, still an amazing figure. And uh, this Batman Beyond is, uh, is next level. So if you haven't already joined the Facebook group, guys, please do so. Uh, link's down below. And uh, check out Pop Collectibles, which is where I got uh, this particular Batman figure. And you obviously can pick it up from Sideshow Collectibles. I'll put a link down there for that as well if you want to pick that up uh, on the state side. But as always, collect what you like. And uh, we'll see you next time.